Along your subpod journey, you may encounter some insect guests, such as cockroaches, ants, and larvae. These guys are actually not bad. They all play a part during the composting process, breaking down organic matter into soil. However, if you start to see large populations of these insects, that's when these guests turn into pests. This is an indicator that your system is out of balance. Follow these tips to get your worms back into action. With cockroaches, simply stop feeding your system and add in large amounts of damp paper or another carbon source. This is because the worms can actually eat the carbon source, whereas cockroaches can't. So you're creating an environment which favors the worms and disfavors the cockroaches. With ants, it's an indicator that your system is too dry. Simply moist the worm blanket and add in some damp carbon as well. It's also good to check to see if the soil around the subpot is moist as well. If you're still having trouble with either of these insects, add in a little bit of diatomaceous earth. To do this, open up your subpod lid, lift up the worm blanket and sprinkle in some diatomaceous earth. This is a natural pesticide that in small amounts will not harm the worms. Larvae, or in this case, black soldier fly larvae. This is an indicator for your system being too wet. To solve this, simply actually stop feeding the subpod system and add in some dry carbon. Sawdust is best. In about a couple of weeks, the black soldier fly larvae will turn into flies and fly away. If you have an uninvited insect in your subpod, it's a good indicator that there's an entrance for them to come in. Check to see that your soil line is up to the ventilation, making sure there's no visible holes around the subpod. It's also good to look at your compost kitchen bucket. Make sure there's a sealed lid so no insects can fly in and lay eggs. 